Hello Gemini. So I'm going to kind of dive straight into things. I don't want to gab too long. But um, the stuff that I was getting through intuitively for you just by looking at that magician card, which I do associate with Gemini energy, it's actually, um, I think the lover's card is the traditional Gemini card in the tarot, but for some reason, the magician card was calling to me more today. So um, I don't know if this is somebody that you're dealing with or uh, if it's kind of you're in this kind of trickster mood, but it's coming to me as somebody who's kind of um, there's something going on with distraction, whether you're being distracted or somebody's trying to distract you or you're trying to distract other people. It's like um, the magician trick. If I just kind of show you, you can see how he's um, he's holding that wand up high and he's pointing down there. So he's like, he's drawing your attention away to other things. So the, the important things are on the table. These are the tools of manifestation. The magician uh, makes things happen. Hello, can I focus please? What's going on? Hello? Hello. <laughs> Can we, can we focus? Can we focus? Maybe you're saying this to someone else or they're saying it to you. Can we focus? Everything that happens in a reading is part of the reading. So um, it's like the important things are what's on the table. The pentacle, the cup, the, the sword and the wand. These are the, uh, the magician's tools uh, that they use to make things happen. Um, now, uh, if we take the things that are on the table as the valuable things and getting like contracts, it could be something to do like contracts or, you know, an offer that's on the table. Like you want to take the offer that's on the table. That's the valuable thing. But people are trying to distract you from what's important um, or you're distracting other people from something. It's, it's, it's strange. Um, so it, he's holding this wand up high. And at first I was like, um, OK, so he's picked the wand. He's picked his passion. Uh, he's he's you know, I thought that these were the tools left on the table and he picked up the wand. But no, the wand is still on the table. So that's like a fake wand. It's it's not. It's not the actual important one. It's it's like a it's like a an offer that's not as good or you know like something that it's like um you know when you wave something in front of a dog it's like hey ooh, over here because you're trying to distract distract the dog from something um so it's like waving this thing in the air but that's not the thing that you really want um and then you can see his other hand is kind of pointing down so you know how when a magician does tricks they kind of um they they do something with one hand you know they do the sleight of hand with one hand but then like they'll use the other hand as a distraction so it'd be like so it'd be like <laughs> if I could try and do I'm not a magician so you'll see how clumsy I am at this but it's like um I could go if I wanted to steal that 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 shell <laughs> oh I have to say Gemini's as well thank you so much if you're here and you help promote that Gemini video it's the best um like most viewed video on my channel I couldn't believe it I just kept on seeing the numbers going up it was like at 800 views I was like what is going on here so thank you so much to the Gemini's who came for that reading I don't know where you all came from like where did you come from who promoted my video thank you so much um it just it just blew up. I was like, it's crazy how that happens sometimes. But say I wanted to come through your shell, and this is the thing that was manifesting in that other video for you. That was the that was that magical thing that was coming in that wasn't in your reality yet. But it is now. It is tangible now. It's here. I've, like if you watched the other video that I did on um, Mars in Gemini, I said that um, in that other reading it was like this thing was coming towards you, but it wasn't in your atmosphere yet. It was kind of more like. The universe was bringing something to you, you weren't aware of it. And then um, it was like a shell shape. And then I was tidying my kid's bedroom. Um, and I, I think I was re-watching the video or thinking about it or something. It was like the next day. Um, and I forgot I even had this. And I moved a piece of clothing and this was right under it. And I was like, oh my God, that's what was manifesting in Gemini's reading. And it's like all of a sudden it become like tangible and real. It's like it, it's like you'd noticed it or it was in your reality. It was it it had it changed from being like a concept to an actual tangible thing. And this is the, the action of the magician. The magician, so I've got a really itchy arm. Um, the magician, um, he, see how I got distracted by my arm. The magician takes dreams and makes them a reality. He takes concepts and grounds them and makes them tangible. So this is what the magician does. So, but like, say, say I wanted to like steal that from you, or, you know, I wanted to steal your opportunity. I might be like, oh, hi, I have my Archangel Michael here in this reading today. He really helps me out. He's kind of like here and, and oh my goodness, it's gone. And that's because I distracted you with one hand while taking the shell with the other hand. Do you see? So, um, distraction techniques or getting distracted or procrastinating or not being able to focus on something but I feel like somebody's purposefully trying to distract you uh, and look away from something because it's like they want they want the good stuff right they want that they want the shell whatever it is for you so they want to 
They want to distract you from what's important. Okay, so let's um, get you a reading. I want to get you a reading on camera. So this is Gemini for Wednesday. Um, not a read. Did I say a reading? A song. I want to get you a song on camera. Um, hold on a second. There you go. I just had to. I just had to. Um, sign in and everything it was just taking a minute right okay oh gosh it's one two two three and 55 percent on my timestamp there so oh, what are you saying now to me no i don't want smart manager right now go away so see distractions again there's constant distractions and i'm not being focused on the important thing so can we get a song on camera please for gemini a song on camera please for gemini what is gemini's reading going to be about what's the theme of the reading what do we want to discuss today let me reintroduce myself, Gwen Stefani. Um, you know, she looks so good. You know, like, because this is like the video for this. She she does like side by sides of herself back in the 90s and then of herself now. And tell you what, I mean, I don't know if she's had a bit of work done, but she looks so good. Oh, there could be something in that for somebody. Uh, somebody could be re reintroducing themselves. Somebody could have a new look. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, do I want to pull up the lyrics to this song? Yes, I do. Okay, so the simple recipe to get the best of me, homegrown ingredients, that's what, that's what made you mess with me in the first place. Because you know I'm like organic and it tastes great. I already gave you bananas. Um, go ahead and help yourself, uh, me again in your ear. Binge on my music for days because I've been here for years. Not a comeback. I'm recycling me it's not a comeback you feel that new energy got a smile on my face go ahead and pass it on it's free with a coupon um i'm not records on your shelf i'm the original old me um, so has she not had surgery or is that because you think again like it's something to do with, like being original being authentic or being fake it's funny it feels like a continuation of um of Taurus is reading homegrown ingredients. That's what made you ma made you mess with me. Maybe you're a really good cook. Um, I don't know. So maybe someone looks really good. You might somebody's back in your life and they look really good. Or uh, perhaps there's something to do with aging well. Uh, people who don't need uh, surgery, they just uh, you know they naturally good, look good because they've you know, taking care of the bodies, something like this, or, uh, I don't know, I guess we're going to see, I guess we're going to pull cards and find out what that is. Oh, I have to say as well, I did channel the song Lady Killers, um, I can't remember who it's by, but it's like, um, uh, it's, it's like men who try and chat you up, but you can tell their own, you know, they've got an agenda, like, again, that kind of magician energy, it's like, um, They've, they've, they're feeding you those lines. They've got the chat up net technique. It's a bit, it's a bit sickly, you know. Like yeah, people who's, it, it, it's just yucky energy. I don't like it. I feel like it's someone around you. I don't think it's your energy, but I don't know. Maybe cross watches. Maybe you're watching for an icky Gemini. Um, you know, everybody has like the light side and shadow side, and the shadow aspects of Gemini are that kind of manipulation energy, uh, kind of being a bit of a charmer. So just watch out for that. It's not the best. You know, you don't, you want to keep yourself in high vibration is what I'm saying. And I'm not saying you are acting like that. I'm more getting it that it's somebody that somebody's dealing with. So I'm just making a note of that. Let me reintroduce myself. It could be, do you know, it could be that somebody's got off to a bad start with somebody. You know, somebody's, um, you know, say like you, you met somebody at the workplace and you kind of fumbled it. You were having a bad day. You kind of like said all the wrong things. You kind of made a bad impression. They thought badly of you. And it's like, it's kind of stuck with you. And you're like, look, do you know what? Let me reintroduce myself. We got off on the wrong foot. Um, I don't want you to think I'm like this bad person. It could be something like that, whether that's somebody coming to you or you're doing it to somebody else. Um, right. So Gemini then, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini for Wednesday. What are we What are we talking about here for Gemini for Wednesday, please? Oh yeah, definitely somebody's being secretive. Somebody is being a little bit slight, a little bit slight of hand here because that flipped and went back in. So that tells me secretive and it's the orphaned card. So the topic of your reading, you may feel a bit left out of something. You maybe feel a bit like the ugly duckling in a scenario. The ugly duckling, oh my God, like, right, with that Gwen, no place like home there as well, that 
that talks about fine and look there's your there's your thing again manifesting behind you um so um this talks about i mean to say it is a theme of this deck right um, it is a theme of this deck again i'm not being underhand myself here but it's come through through different decks by different um artists different authors um i keep seeing it everywhere literally in real life it's turned up so um i just happen to be using this deck so um you know i just want to be upfront. i don't want you to think that i'm being sly or anything like that it's just i'm i'm pretty honest with my readings i think um happy to call myself out <laughs> So the story of the ugly duckling, right? Um, the ugly duckling, it was actually a, a baby swan. Is that a signet? Uh, so it's kind of like this big, gangly, like grey, fluffy, awkward thing. And all the other ducklings were like all these cute little fluffy yellow things. And they were like, oh, we're so cute. You don't fit in with those. You're kind of big and gangly and grey and you, you, you're ugly. Uh, so the the ugly duckling, duckling felt left out. Um, they're giving me 13 going on 30 as well. I think one of the songs that came through, um, was it for... Oh my God, it was Vienna, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, Aries, Vienna by Billy Joel. Uh, that song was in 13 going on 30. So it's funny that that's come back around for you. Um, yeah, so then, uh, you know, the, the the ugly kid grows up and turns into this beautiful swan. So that's the, the theme of 13 going on 30 as well. She was kind of like the geeky kid. She didn't fit in. And then she kind of, um, you know, she got to be 13. She was like this gorgeous career woman. So it could be that you felt like you didn't fit in somewhere. You felt like you were ugly in comparison to the people around you or not even necessarily about your looks. It can be about, um, you know, you, you, uh, you know, you just didn't fit in with the group. You felt like the odd one out. You felt like, uh, you were the weird one, you were the strange one, but then it's like time passed and it's like, let me reintroduce myself. It's almost like, look how good I am now. So the example that they're giving me, <laughs> it's a very specific example, but they're showing me um, a group of girls, they're all very, very blonde. Um, and it's like, they may be like, like, 18 um so again i'm talking about like maybe it was like this is in the 90s or something so maybe you had a group of friends or you know you're trying to fit in with the cool kids they were all bleach blonde like it's that yellow blonde as well that they're showing me and they're like orange skin <laughs> like um and it's like these girls that and they smoke and they go out drinking and like they go on the sunbeds but because they've had this like really unhealthy lifestyle where they've like bleached the hair they've smoked they've got on the sunbeds they've not looked after the skin they've drank it's like they've all aged really badly so now you're like in your 30s going <laughs> you're like you looked after you, you kind of stayed indoors playing computer games so you've got like <laughs> the sun hasn't even touched your skin <laughs> you know no wrinkles here you've you've had a healthier lifestyle um you know you've not mistreated your body so you've actually um you know all these other women have had to have collagen injections and fake lips and boob jobs and <laughs> but you're just like you've had no work done and you're like i'm actually i look younger than all of you <laughs> so there's a very very specific example that they've given me uh but it's what they've given me so i'm going to just tell you what they gave me so it doesn't necessarily have to be that very very specific scenario it can be um the orphan card is basically just feeling left out of the group feeling like you don't fit in feeling feeling like you want to find your place in the world right you want to be accepted for who you are so we'll we'll keep pulling cards and i'll read you the this is an azure advice card at the end of the reading as well so let me reintroduce myself. Oh, rabbit. I okay, didn't even ask. And the buffalo on the bottom there. So, um, yeah, it's, it's the same sort of energy. Feeling like a little frightened bunny. Feeling a little bit um, nervous. Um, nervous in social situations. Nervous in the group. Um, you know, feeling a bit like you've got to have your wits about you. Um it's kind of like um, this feeling of kind of like, uh, sorry, I can see, it, you can't see it on the card because obviously it's a 2D flat image, but I can see the the uh, whiskers twitching. It's weird. Um, so the whiskers twitching, it's like um, sensing changes in the air, sensing, uh, watching out for danger. Its ears are really pricked up as well. It's like on high alert. Uh, it's earthy grounded energy on high alert. Because you should be on high alert, though. This is the thing. You should be on high alert because somebody around you is trying to trick you. It's like, where do you want to Why do you want to fit in a group? You know, they're showing me 13 going on 30 again. I did watch it recently. Again, I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, but, I, you know, things happen for a reason. So maybe I watched it because it was going to come through in the reading. Um, 
in that the the girl they they you know she's trying to fit in with the cool kids but they don't really care about her and they um they they do trick her they uh, they lock her in a cupboard and tell her that this boy's going to come in and kiss her but she just sits there in the cupboard and they all sneak out of the house so it's it's like you you're right if if you're if your spidey sense is tingling, right? If something feels wrong, if you kind of your your hairs are pricking up, it's it's probably for a reason. There probably is something going on that you need to. If you're yeah, it's like your your alert system's going. So what is that? Right, let's go to your emotions. So this is past, present, future emotions for Gemini, please. We're uh, reading for Wednesday. Past, uh, if, if you if you come to this reading and it's not Wednesday, you know you don't have to watch it on the day it goes up. I'm just letting my intention known for which day I'm planning on publishing it so um it would be no good for me if I read for energy for Monday or Tuesday because the video is not going up till Wednesday so I'm, I'm projecting a little bit but when the reading finds you that's when it's meant to find you so if you watch this in two years you know you're meant to get that reading then you know everybody's on a slightly different timeline so even though I'm saying past present future you could be anywhere along this kind of sliding scale so just be aware of that um Past energy for Gemini, please. Okay, hiding again. You've got a lot of like hidden secretive energy. Um, emotionally, you're looking for fairness. You could feel a bit like something's been a bit unfair, a bit unjust. You could have put more effort into a situation. They're showing me now. I don't know what film it's from. It's for a different film. No, it could be from the same film, but I think it's like a... a, a... What is that from? I'm not sure, but I think it is in 13 going on 30, but they're showing it from a different film. Um, this is like uh, doing, the, doing the schoolwork uh, for for you, the cool kids. Or like if you were doing a group project at school, you put more, you you do all the work while like the others don't. Because you're trying to, it's like you feel like you don't fit in. So you're trying to like um, show them your value. It's like, okay, well, I'll do your, I'll do the work if you let me come to the party. It's that kind of like... It feels like trying to show your worth, but you're putting in too much effort. Um, it's not the the situation's not fair. There's an imbalance here. The Six of Pentacles is about um, fair trading. Uh, maybe fair trade is important to you. It's about um, ethical. I just heard the word ethical. So somebody may have um, with the rabbits as well. Uh, oh gosh, God, they've gone down a road. Um, somebody could have something to do with um, um, animal rights, um, ethical treatment of animals. Um, um, they, sh they show me with the rabbit and the, the eyes. Um, I remember they used to test shampoo, uh, whether shampoo made people's eyes irritated by putting it in rabbits' eyes. But I don't think rabbits can blink it out properly or something like that. It was it was quite cruel. I remember like it being on telly when I was growing up. So um, something about the fur. Um, so it's like you. You you perhaps care about certain things, but the people around you don't care about the same things as you. It could be to do with makeup for some of you, like, because I'm getting a lot of stuff with the way things people look. Um, so it could be like you always use vegan vegan makeup products, but the people around you don't, um, and you're starting to realise that you're trying to fit in with people who don't have the same values as you. I think. Or there's some need to kind of make a situation fair. There's an imbalance and a need to... Because you can see that the scales are kind of imbalanced. Um, somebody's been giving... Somebody's been giving into something where they're not appreciated. They're starting to realise now. I think that it's coming through as like realising your self-worth. Re finding self-worth and recognizing that and that's a hard lesson to learn sometimes recognizing that other people don't value the same things as you and they don't see your value because maybe their priorities are wrong right so uh, uh current emotions please current emotions yeah no you're changing you've you've you're leaving something behind you're going on to something different the full card is like um taking a leap of faith into something new um the, this particular imagery on this card is like she's painting the roses red or she's painting the roses pink um so i'm seeing it as like you've been looking at something through rose tinted glasses or you've been like emotionally like feeling like viewing a situation through rose tinted glasses i'm just being drawn to my rose quartz as well rose somebody could be called rose rose maybe you've got a product that's like rose perfume or something or something to do with like the word rose um 
So um, it could be that you're rising, right? Rising through the ranks. You've you've rose in consciousness. Um, but it's something to do with like um, putting like emotionally, like you realize you've been putting a good spin on things. You've been trying to see things as something better than what they were. You've um, you've been yeah trying to make the best best out of, out of a situation. But you're starting to realize now that I feel it feels like with that ugly duckling business, it's like you just don't fit in. So you're ready to let something go and move towards something that feels a lot better for you or at least take a chance on something different it's like if your current situation is not working out at least you can take a chance on on something else it might be better right i'm just really noticing the um the branches as well on the on the top left hand corner of both of these cards uh, i don't know why but maybe you've got some you know like 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 twigs or like excuse me decorative blossom in your house um they're telling me blossoming as well and I'm taking it as you you're blossoming into uh your authentic self rather than trying to wear a mask um future emotions please oh tower moment okay uh, I may pull another card I'm just gonna leave that there because I may pull another card on that tower moment yeah you're having a big realization here it's like a big wake-up call um it's like oh my god I'm not the ugly duck duckling I'm a fucking swan <laughs> it's like oh my god <laughs> it's like so self-realization or blossoming into it they're telling me like your true form like your final form um past thoughts please past thoughts for gemini past thoughts for gemini past thoughts for past thoughts for gemini please oh yeah fallout absolutely i'm gonna take this card because it's the one that was showing up but you've got a lot going on there i'll just kind of show you all these cards six of swords wheel of fortune high priestess star it's like moving on to something better like turning that wheel of fortune because you've feel guided like spiritually guided to follow your hope your hopes dreams and wishes um working on something uh could be working as part of a team but this person's working on their own um king of cups is uh, somebody who's very emotionally stable very very emotionally balanced deep emotions very mature uh heartbreak though could have been a love interest it didn't work out trying to see things from a different perspective and then closing out that cycle the world card leads to the leap of faith into the new so yeah moving on from something could have broke your heart um taking a leap of faith to something new so here mentally so the cups are emotions but you're mentally processing these emotions now the five of cups card you can see that there's three cards that are spilled out there's a treasure box open there <laughs> i heard i've been robbed i don't know if somebody's literally been robbed or it could be like been robbed of an opportunity you know with that distraction the magician it's like the the they distracted you with something else and you missed out on something so the five of cups does talk about emotionally feeling like you've missed out on something something didn't work out um crying over spilt milk the really nice thing about this card that i really like about this card is that she's got her back turned to this it's a rock but i always see it as like smoke and i always see it as like the 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 it's always like a tower moment happened in the past. Um, you know, there was some kind of drama. Something didn't work out. There was an emotional fallout from this thing. Um, but she's turned her back to that past situation now. And she's actually forward facing. She's looking towards the future. And these cups that are too, still standing. Now, normally on the Five of Cups card, the person has the back to the two cups. Um, they're too busy crying over spilt milk. They don't see the new opportunities on the horizon. You, you've you you've turned your back on the past and you're, you're looking forward. You've it's releasing it's letting go of what didn't work out and and having faith in the future with this full card here so you're definitely uh looking to the new there so really really good and it's as i say it's in your it's in your mental space so you're mentally processing your emotions you're working through your emotions so that's really good um well job gemini uh so um current thoughts please for gemini current thoughts please for gemini current thoughts please for gemini the yeah i feel that tower moment energy with the cards they're all trying to flip out here um okay chariot yeah absolutely so mentally you're trying to you're trying to pro you're still trying to process you're trying to find balance the chariot is quite an emotional card it's um but it's also victory and success and movement excuse me a second okay i was just checking to see if i thought i heard a knock at my door i'm expecting a delivery today um 
it wasn't a knock on the door but it felt really silly because I had like I've got these like princess layer bun things going on because I'm trying to do like a heatless curling technique on my hair so I just look really stupid so there's a woman walking past and I'm telling you this because anything that happens in a reading is part of the reading there was a woman walking past with like a little white scotty dog uh, so I don't know if somebody has one of those um <laughs> she had it on all black but then it's bright pink trainers like this color pink trainers so I don't know if that's relevant to anybody I just felt like if I saw it, it I felt like I needed to say it in the reading um yeah but you've got the full card and the chariot card here in your emotions and your mental space so emotionally and mentally you are preparing to move you are preparing to get out of dodge to move on to a new situation this there's a lot of energy with this chariot card uh, it's quite a lot of enthusiasm uh, it can talk about victory as well so uh, you you're going to move on to something a lot better um my eye line was just drawn to that no place like home card um it's like um you may be literally moving home with this chariot card you may literally have to take some sort of journey somewhere um it's like sometimes what we call home isn't always right for us so it could be that you are recognizing that perhaps the people you grew up with you don't have the same values of, as them so you may be thinking about moving to a place where you are um you're more you're more you fit in better right you you a new community where people share your values or alternatively you've moved to a place where you thought it was going to be like um it's almost like the grass is always greener you may have moved away from your home from what felt familiar and safe to try and fit in with a group um and you realize now that it wasn't right for you it's sort of like if you went away to university and you realized you were on the wrong course and you didn't have anything in common with anyone else um you know you may be like yearning to go home uh, in 13 going on 30 as well she she's um, at one point in the movie she actually does go back to a childhood home so wanting home comfort so it could go either way it's going to be different for everybody coming to the reading uh, but you um the thing about the chariot card is um it, it's a really fast card you can take fast movement forward but you have to find some sort of alignment first i'm noticing as well the full card she's not really moving she's kind of sitting there so you do have to you're in the process of evaluating of coming into alignment to of figuring out what you want to do but you're prepared to take a big leap of faith forwards i just don't think you've quite got a plan yet um the tower card in your future thoughts whoa um so emotionally this tower moment and it's the sun yeah i, I knew it was a good tower moment. oh my god look as well on the bottom the tower again you it's like a light bulb's going off inside you in the future so emotionally and mentally the star yeah okay and what's that's trying to show itself the king of swords yeah you are having a massive light bulb moment you are like emotionally it feels like emotionally you have this moment where you're just like i'm done i am absolutely done with this it's like it feels like oh i'm getting oh my god i'm getting like cold goosebumps all up my legs and back it's like you just suddenly it's like just suddenly i'm just seeing the, st the star above her head it's like you have this light bulb moment of like like clarity it's like suddenly you come into your own power the sun and the star it's like it's like this is not what i want i know what i want and then wanting this freedom wanting the both children as well it's being quite childlike it's like um it could be like a midlife crisis moment of like i'm th i'm 30 now i'm 40 now i realize that everything i've been doing up to this point is like me trying to fit in me trying to like do what everybody tells me to do um i'm being taken for granted here i am not not happy i know what i want to do now i know what i need to do now i know where my happiness lies it's like a huge it feels like it's almost like the judgment card it feels like a huge revelation so you are kind of like all of a sudden going it's like all of a sudden you're you're going, I'm out. You're telling everybody I'm done, I'm out. I'm going doing this now. I'm following my dreams. I am taking control of my own life. I am coming into my own power. I'm going to move towards what what I know is my place, to, my truth, my place to be. Um, it, it's like a huge wake-up call. Huge wake-up call. Uh, the tower can be quite disruptive, just to kind of say there may be quite a big... Uh, a big fallout there may be a lot of disruption around this point it could be that there's drama happening and it's like suddenly the rug's pulled out from underneath your feet and you're like i'm glad it's gone like it could be like i got you get fired and you're like instead of being like oh my god i've got fired you're like thank god thank god i got fired it's almost like it something changes and you realize that 
that wasn't right for you anyway. So good riddance, right? Um, wow. Um, God, the energy was really big with that. Um, so yeah, mental, mental freedom, mentally free, feeling like a kid again, feeling like I'm going to go out and explore the world and have fun doing it because where I was, wasn't right for me. So I might as well take a chance. Are they giving me a take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, chance. So, wow. <laughs> um, let's keep going. So, uh, the action space. So this is going on emotionally and mentally. I don't know if you're going to action it or not. Uh, you may be like sat there going like, I'm going to stick this out a bit longer because I want the payout, right? <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be. Like we, I don't know. I'm quite excited to see what's going to be in this position. So if we look at the past, something's unfair, something's unequal, something's unbalanced, feeling a sense of disappointment with something that didn't work out, but looking towards your future. What action was Gemini taking in regards to this? nine of wands yeah so whoa, yeah i feel that energy for you this is like oh you can see he's like on his knees and everything this is the wounded warrior card this is someone who's put up with something for a long time like feeling very burdened feeling battered and bruised in this situation like persevering plodding on keeping going um but you can see he's literally like on his knees he's exhausted I think it's like, maybe this is why the tower moment comes in, because it's like, how much longer can you keep going on with this? How much longer are you going to put up with this situation? How much longer are you going to keep getting yourself back up and keeping on plodding on when you feel awful? So it's, it, you can see almost like this lightning here is like the wake, wake up call coming in for you. So in the past, you, you, you were still persevering, you were still... It's like you were in a bad situation and I feel like almost like you couldn't get out of it. It's almost like that those ones there are forming a barrier, forming a wall. It's like blocking your escape almost. It's like, oh, yuck. Okay, so with the fool and the chariot, this this need for a fresh start, this need for this need to move, if it just feels like a need to move, a real need to get out of there. Um, what action is Gemini currently taking? Secretive. You've got two cards about success. Uh, the Chariot and the Six of Wands. This is both about success, reward and recognition, being in the spotlight, having a victory. Um, I feel like there could be something going on for you where you're being rewarded, you're being recognised now for what you've put into a situation but it's too it feels like it's too little too late it's like other people can sense that you're gonna leave so they're going oh you know we're gonna give you this great bonus like oh we're so pleased with the way it's like oh it's like when they know that you've, you're done they get that's when they come in and go you're doing great work we're so pleased with you and it's like they want you to stay right so they can keep taking advantage of you that's how it feels. Now, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. If I take that out of here, um, what I'm seeing if I just read the cards is wanting to take a leap of faith into something new, having a lot of faith in the universe, um, coming into alignment, uh, thinking about taking a lot of fast action forward, um, having a sense of um, mentally being um, rewarded and recognized in your reality. This is you enjoying the reward and recognition of the moment, being cheered on by the crowd. Um, okay, so it could just be that. I'm seeing it as I'm seeing it as you want to move and that's when they come in to praise you but it's like again with that magician energy of being like a distraction like they're distracting you from it's almost like you deserve you deserve gold but they're giving you pennies right you deserve you deserve a you deserve like to have that job but they're giving you a, a little bonus. It feels like, it's almost like, it feels a bit like a slap in the face. Like they're trying to placate you. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, yes. The Empress on the bottom. I'm pleased to see her. Okay, tower moment, an emotional, an emotional shift, a big emotional shift 
in your thoughts, happiness, happy, happy, happy thoughts, freedom, expansion, feeling confident, uh, thinking about being confident, thinking about leadership. Maybe you're getting some kind of leadership position. Maybe you have persevered and you are getting that job. You're getting the leadership. Make sure you make sure you get what you deserve. Whatever this is, make sure you get what you deserve. So it could be you're getting some kind of leadership job at work. But what really worries me is in your action space, and this is what I was picking up on earlier, the Three of Pentacles is normally working as part of a team. It's three people coming together on some sort of project with the same shared goal, um, making something happen because everybody's utilizing the different skills and talents. So normally you have the um, the creative, the visionary, the person who has the ideas. Then you have the person who is um, the person who oversees um, the supervisor, the person who um, makes, you know, the project manager, the person who makes sure everything happens. Then you have the person who kind of like actually does the work. This is the the skilled tradesman, the 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 um, artist, the um, the person who make who physically does the work. What worries me here is that there's one person doing the job of three people, and there's a chain. So it feels very similar to what was happening over here, not being able to escape this situation not being able to get out, feeling chained to it, an imbalance of the workload. Just make sure you're not being taken advantage of. Oh, we've got two cards. What's under this? Okay. If it does feel like you are, it feels like you're stuck in some kind, it could be stuck in a, I mean, the justice card's not here. It's not stuck in a contract. Can you see how this person's like barricading the door? It's like this person's not letting people out. Normally, this I'd, I'd, normally I'd say this is you. It could be you being defensive, standing up for yourself. I hope you're standing up for yourself. That's what I want to see with this Empress card. Some of you are standing up for yourselves. Some of you are bit, maybe being defensive, but I see this as a person block, like stopping you from leaving. I don't like that. This Temperance card, though, talks about balancing, being patient. Balancing out your emotions with your passions. So the scenario that I'm getting, and I might be reading too much into it, so if it's not your story, leave it. For some of you, it's just like being defensive about a decision to remain in the workplace, right? I think some of you have had this internal realisation. You've been wanting to move. You've been wanting to take a leap of faith forwards. You're having a tower moment where it feels like I'm done. It feels like I am done. I cannot stand this situation any longer knowing that you're out of there, knowing, right? It's like, as soon as that person looks away, as soon as that person comes away from the door, I'm out of here. But it's like, if they're overwhelmed as well. It's like, there's that one person who looks a bit worried. And then it feels like a union thing. Like there's three people, like six people saying, you're going to have to move, mate, or we're going to make you move. But I feel like you're still biding your time. It's like you, you, you know, in your emotions and your thoughts, because that's freedom. That's like, ain't no stopping me. I'm getting on my horse and riding through the field. You, you're, you know you're out of there. You've, you t Double tower moment. But you're doing it in a very patient way. So it feels like... Like you're playing along. Like you're not... Maybe not showing any signs that anything's wrong. You know, it's like, it's going to be a surprise. It, you're, it's going to be a shock when you when you go... Okay. Wow. Wow. What is that? <laughs> what is that energy? What's under the Empress? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, but you're biding your time. You're coming through as being, moving into this Empress energy, which is like taking... Oh my God, and there's the Emperor. It could be a workplace thing. It could be like, these are your bosses. It could be the... Um, it could be that these are your parents. Look, he's look pointing down again. I mean, this is like... The reason why they're pointing down is because they're bringing things down to earth. But I feel like you're stuck. It's like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, but you're biding your time. Either that or you're... Either that or you're balancing out two sides of yourself, becoming very, very empowered, but knowing that good things take time, being patient, persevering, playing the long game. 
or this is divine counterparts. So do take it however it resonates. I'm sure everybody's situation is going to be slightly different. But you're ending with the sun, the star, the emperor and the empress. Two tower moments. Temperance. Feels quite dramatic. Feels big. That buffalo as well talks to me about this perseverance energy. Keeping your head down, doing the work, playing the long game. And then the phoenix under that. Look, look at that. And the dragon. And the sea serpent. And the elk. And that's the emperor again. After this period of hard work there with the beaver. That is, this, your reading is mega, Gemini. Right, let's... Um, I'm going to stop and restart just because I've approached... The, um, I'm on the 40 minute mark. I don't want it to cut out as I uh, read your advice. Okie dokie. So, um, I'm using the orphan card as your advice card. So, um, a sense of loss, an identity crisis. Recognising that you don't fit in. The need to belong. Uncertainty about your place. We were all meant to have connections with other people within our families, society and the larger culture. No man is an island and it's important to recognise that when being a part of rather than separate from is essential to your well-being. The issue at hand is the need to find where you fit. Be true to your core truths and values. Perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community the way that you did before and need to find a new situation. You may be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion. Address the need for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirit. It's okay to let go of pressure to fit in. Not everyone will understand you and it's time to move on. Now, if you are on the cusp of Taurus, I recommend you go and watch that Taurus reading because that is that was very self-empowered and they did not give a flying F about what anyone thought about them. So if you're on the cusp of Taurus, with this being the Empress card, with it, it's Taurus Libra, do go and watch that because I feel like that could be something that you want to utilise, you know, an energy that you want to step into. Um, very self-empowered. Uh, but yeah, wow. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to read as well. Um, I just paused to kind of look it up. I want to read that No Place Like Home card because I feel like I need to give you a bit extra. Uh, this energy feels very big and challenging. Very self-empowering though. So um, I just wanted to give you that little bit of extra um, uh, advice to, to take if it resonates or leave if it doesn't. But No Place Like Home says um, authenticity, coming home to yourself, feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit, being comfortable in your own skin. The Oracle's message. Home feels safe and secure. It's a comfortable place to rest and create. A place that is known and you can call yours. This card signals that your um, ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity. Now, integrity was really important to that Taurus reading. Aspects of yourself no one can take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high, yet with neither pride nor humility. Instead, you stand as the observer. It's funny, obser I think observer was the underlying for Taurus. Seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength. Empress, um, or emperor, they're both uh, Taurus energy for me. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here in the house of your spirit and spirit. So home is where you make it. And TikTok, Aries had that. Oh, I like, I feel like I'm getting like a narrative throughout the signs at the moment. So it's like, uh, authenticity seems to be authenticity and integrity and faith and hope and um, self seem to be the, like the key themes throughout this set of readings so it's almost like it's taking us on a journey through the signs so even if you do want to watch each one it feels like it's each reading feels like it's giving me a little bit extra to the story at the moment um, really nice I wonder what's going on with the planets um, at the moment all right, uh, let's get you one more song to close out the reading. Um, I'm going to get this as kind of like a, either an advice song or what you really, 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 really need to hear right now. Uh, so take it as it resonates. It could be a song that you absolutely hate, but even that is giving you a message, right? So why is this song the song for you? What's the message in it? Go and watch the video. Go and read the lyrics. Listen to the music. See what see what you get from it. And whatever you get from it is the right thing for you to take from it. So... Gemini, please. Gemini for Wednesday. The people resonating with this reading, what do they really need to hear right now? Whoa. Fire starter by the prodigy. <laughs> right? Right? And it's so funny that it's a crab because I'm going to do um, Cancer is going to be the next reading that I do. So uh, I'm excited to see where this story goes. 
So yeah, fire star, phoenix energy. I feel like you're instigating the tower moment. I feel like it's coming from within you. Twisted fire stars. Gemini, what are you up to? <laughs> All right. I hope that was helpful to you. Do take care and I will see you again soon. Leave me a like if you like, subscribe. Let me know if anything resonated. Uh, I really do like seeing the comments because it helps me to know that I am connecting with people that um what i'm doing you know i'm not just shouting to, into the void it's actually going somewhere but uh, as always if you want to come in as a stealth watcher if you're keeping on the down low i, I understand that as well so uh yeah take care and i'll see you again soon bye, -bye gems